this banner year for IPOs is turning into a banner year for newly minted American billionaires. Robert Frank joins us now with more. Um, I'm celebrating, Robert. I'm not one of them, but I'm just on the record. I'm not Bernie Sanders. I'm, I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating that there's taxes, there's philanthropy, there's the possibility it can happen to other people if you work hard and have a great idea. I like millionaires and I like billionaires, but uh, you go ahead. I'm not going to comment on this. I have, I have no editorial opinion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah th these stories are just really inspirational, no matter what your point of view. You've got this week two IPOs, six billionaires, over $40 billion in personal wealth. You look at DoorDash, they minted three new multi-billionaires this week. CEO Tony Hsu, he's now worth over $2.7 billion. You've got co-founders Andy Fang and Stanley Tang. They were all friends at Stanford, and they did the first coding and food delivering while working at night while they were students at school. Those two guys worth $2.5 billion. Now, the winner of the week was Brian Chesky. He, of course, Airbnb CEO. And he's one of three co-founders who started the company when they were flat broke, sitting in a San Francisco apartment, they decided to rent out air mattresses to make the rent. Chesky, now worth over $11 billion. He also got a share grant this fall, valued at $1.8 billion, so that's on top of that. And he and the other guys cashed out about $90 million in stock yesterday. Now, co-founders Joe Gebbia and Nathan Blacharzik, they are now worth over $10 billion, also cashing out some of those shares. Now, in total... American billionaires have gained a trillion dollars in wealth just this year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.